Well, since 2014, CLV has the, the Better Life Efficiency Index. But at first I had some, some hesitations about the number. Um, it, it was a, a compressed index, so I was like, okay. Two and a half years ago, we started with measuring feed efficiency by uh, individual dairy cows. Um, as the first results came back from the feed intake program, um, I saw a, a good correlation between uh, feed efficiency and the battle life efficiency index. Um, one thing I learned already is that uh, the battle life efficiency index um, gives already a good prediction about the efficiency in, the, in, my, in my farm. So um, when a cow has a good level of uh, battle life efficiency, she will also be more efficient in terms of feed efficiency. So it's, it's, it proves to me that, uh, that the battle life efficiency index is already working towards a more efficient cow and also has a higher profitability for, for, for a dairy farmer. Well, after two and a half year uh, measurements, I'm still not able to predict which cow is based on the, on the outside, which is the most efficient cow. Uh, before we start, I had a lot of ideas about it, but I must conclude that uh, that I have to measure in order to, to know the feed efficiency of a cow. There is a big variation between in individual cows. Um, I, have, I have cows with a feed efficiency of 1.1, so one kilogram dry matter, they produce 1.1 kilogram fat and pro protein corrected milk. On the other hand, I also have cows which produce from one kilogram dry matter almost 1.9 kilogram of fat and protein corrected milk. So that's, that's quite a, a big variation. I noticed especially that uh, when the management is good, when the health of the cows is good, then the efficiency will also be good. Um, so uh, some people think that uh, feed efficiency has a, a negative correlation with, with, with health. Uh, I disagree with them. Thank you.